Okay, in this video, I'm going to do a review on the Nutrent Stylus Pen. Now, this is not only a stylus for a capacitive touchscreen, which is pretty much any touchscreen on the market right now, except for maybe the GPS touchscreens, which are resistive, but your basic iPad, iPhone, Android tablet, Android phone, Windows phone, WebOS phone, whatever, they're all capacitive touchscreens. So this stylus will work on those devices. But not only is it a stylus for your electronic device, but it is also a ballpoint pen. So it should meet all of your digital and analog writing needs. So it's a very compact stylus. I'd say it's maybe about three inches long. And it has sort of a gold gray tone here and it has black down here and of course silver accents to it. The stylus end, if I can show you it there, has what they call micro knit technology and it actually gives, as you can see there. So you can use it on your touchscreen device to either write or just swipe or select whatever. And up here you have your clip and on the clip side you actually have your ballpoint pen. So all I need to do is twist the pen and the ballpoint comes out the other end. So let me show you on a piece of paper just writing with it. It's got a nice smoothness to it and it's black ink. So like I said, not only your analog but your digital writing needs are met with this little stylus here. Now the stylus retails for $8.95 at the New Trent website. That's N-E-W-T-R-E-N-T dot com. There will also be a link in the description down below where you can purchase this item. So let's give this thing a spin on a phone. So here's my Motorola Atrix 4G and I'm just going to take the stylus here which is actually shorter than the phone if you can take a look there. So it's really nice and compact and portable but I'm just going to use the stylus end and manipulate the screen. As you can see, it's just like using your finger. If I want, I can launch one of the apps. That's the YouTube app. And as you might notice, there's a blinking red light here, so this phone might die any minute. But uh, that's alright, I don't need it for too long. And uh, this stylus also works with the capacitive buttons on the bottom of the Android phone here. So if I want to hit the home, click on it and there we go so it's just like using your finger so if I wanted to I could even use it to use the calculator over here 2 plus 2 equals 4 so let's try this out on another device so let's see how this stylus works with an Amazon Kindle Fire right now I have the Kindle Fire fired up and I'm on the lock screen let's open this thing up real smooth and easy to manipulate with this and of course you have your home screen here you can move it around. If I want to go into an app, I'll go into Angry Birds here. Load it up. And let me hit play here. Let's try out one of the games here. And see how it works. Works really well. Okay, let's try out the stylus with the Apple iPad 3. So you can use the stylus as you would your finger, just to swipe back and forth and then to launch apps and you could also type with it you can also use it with note-taking apps we're gonna try it with note-taker light and this is actually a landscape app so let's turn the iPad to the side and you can write whatever you want on here Now a stylus comes in handy in a couple of situations. Number one, if it's cold outside and you're wearing gloves and you want to interact with your capacitive touchscreen device, it might be nice to have a stylus, that way you don't have to take your glove off. The other situation where it might come in handy is in an app like this or even in a drawing or a painting app because you're not necessarily used to writing or painting with your finger. 
most people are used to actually having an implement in their hand. So it might come in handy, you might be able to actually write better because you're used to writing with a pen or draw better because you're used to drawing with colored pencils or a paintbrush. Now there are different styluses on the market. There are ones with a pointy end and then there are ones like this stylus that mimic your finger. It's got basically a round blunt end and as I showed you before it's flexible. So this stylus would work very well with something like the Apple iPad or any device that doesn't come with its own stylus because those devices are built to work with your finger which is a round blunt end. Some devices come with a pointy stylus but those devices are built to recognize something with a sharper point to it. So all in all I really like this stylus. It's very functional because not only is it a stylus but it is a ballpoint pen and it's nice and compact. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.